Hello everyone, I'm going to solve question number 8 in your assignment and the first part is easy, you need to find the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity so here we are going to take quantity supply and quantity supply equals quantity demanded so 2p equals 180 minus p 3p equals 180 so p is equal to 60 that is equilibrium price equilibrium quantity we can just plug here p so it's 2p so quantity supplied equals quantity demanded equals 2 times 60 which is 120 so we can just type here 60 and then here 120 and these are the answers now the next part is we have tax this time quantity demanded has changed quantity demanded now is 180 minus p plus t and we need to find a new equilibrium equilibrium quantity supplied equals quantity demanded so 2p equals 180 minus p plus t and now here we are going to find price in terms of p so we need to open the parentheses here 180 minus p minus t so we can move p here 3p equals 180 minus t we can divide both sides by 3 and then we have p equals 60 minus t over 3 so as you see here this is the equilibrium price so new equilibrium price is 60 minus t over 3 we need to plug this into quantity supply equation to find the new quantity 2 times 60 minus t over 3 which is 120 minus 2t over 3 is the equilibrium quantity so the next question is what happened to price sellers receive sellers are receiving this price so before sellers are receiving $60 now they are receiving a lower price because t is greater than 0 therefore the price received by seller decreases and the price buyers pay is 60 minus t over 3 plus t because now buyers has to pay the tax therefore 60 minus t over 3 plus 3t over 3 which is equal to 60 plus 2t over 3 so that is price paid by buyers and as you see before buyers were paying 60 because the tax is greater than zero now they are paying more therefore price paid by buyers increases how about the quantity before tax the quantity was 120 now since t is greater than zero the quantity is less than 120 so the quantity sold decreases so these are the answers for step one now let's move on to the next step here you have the quantity supply quantity demanded and you have the equilibrium prices that we have already calculated p is equal to 60 minus t over 3 and equilibrium quantity 120 minus 2t over 3 and we know that tax revenue is t times q which we know q is in terms of t so we can calculate the tax revenue tax revenue is t times 120 minus 2t over 3 in that case 120t minus 2t square over 3 is the tax revenue and now we are going to use this point 0 30 60 90 120 150 and 180 to calculate the Laffer curve so we have the tax revenue and the tax so we will start with tax is equal to 0 if tax is equal to 0 then tax revenue is equal to zero so the first point is zero zero you just need to plug t and you will see that here is t zero here t zero the tax revenue is zero now let's move on to next point which when tax rate is 30 t is equal to 30 then what what is going to be the tax revenue 120 times 30 minus 2 30 square over 3 
So we need a calculator. 120 times 30 is equal to 3600 minus 30 square is 900. So this is 2 times 900 over 3. So therefore that's equal to 3600 minus 600 which is equal to 3000. So let's find this. At 30 it's going to be what? 3000. This is the next point. Now let's go to t is equal to 60. t is equal to 60 so 120 times 60 minus 2 times 60 square over 3. So 120 times 60 is equal to 7200 minus 2 times 60 square 3600 over 3. So this is 1, this is 1200 which is equal to 7200 minus 2000 400 which is equal to 7200 minus 2400 which is 4800 so when the tax rate is 60 the tax revenue is 4.8 now let's move on to next point for the tax so then we have the equation 120 t minus 2t square over 3 so 120 times 90 minus 90 square over 3 120 times 90 is equal to 10,800 minus 90 square is 8,100 divided by 3 so this part is 2700 so we have here 10800 minus 2 times 2700 which is 5400 so if we subtract this 5400 from 10800 we get 5400 so when the tax rate is 90 tax revenue is 5400 so let's get that point two at 90 5400 now let's do it for t is equal to 120 120 times 120 minus 2 times 120 square over 3 120 times 120 is 14400 2 times 14,400 over 3. So that is equal to 14,400 minus 2 times 4,800. And we need to find this number. So that's equal to 14,400 minus 9,600, which is equal to 4,800. So the next point is 120 to 4,800. So that is going to be here. And the next tax rate is 150. 150, 120 times 150 minus 2 times 150 square over 3. 120 times 150 is equal to 18,000 minus 2 times 150 square which is 22,500 over 3 which is equal to 7,500 so what we have here is 18,000 minus 15,000 which is 3,000 so we are going to choose this time 150 to 3,000 this is here and the final one is tax rate being 180, 120 times 180 minus 2 times 180 square over 3. So 120 times 180 is equal to 21,600 
minus 180 square is 32,400 divided by 3 is 10,800 and if you do this calculation 21,600 minus 21,600 which is equal to 0 so the last point is where we get 180 to 0. So this is the Laffer curve. As you see, first the tax rate increases, tax revenue increases, but at some point increasing the tax rate reduces the tax revenue. And uh, when you have the tax rate 180, you don't earn any tax revenue. So the next part is we are going to calculate the dead weight loss. And the dead weight loss is gray shaded area. And we, we know that the area of a triangle is 1 over 2 times base times height. So we need to first find the base of the dead weight triangle. So the question is asking here, this is demand, this is supply. Okay, we have this part, which is 60. And there is the tax here. And we need this one, we need to find out this, and we need to find out, this is already given 60 minus T over 3, and here is 120, and here is 120 minus 2 T over 3. So this is what we need to find for base, right? And this part, as you see, is price buyers pay, which we know what price buyers pay. This is the seller's receipt plus tax is the price buyers paid, which is equal to 60 plus 2t over 3. So here, this point is 60 plus 2t over 3. So the difference between these two, buyers paid and seller's receipt, is equal to the base. So how we can find 60 plus 2t over 3 minus 60 minus t over 3. So 60 plus 2t over 3 minus 60 plus t over 3. So it is 3t over 3, which is t. We know that this length between price buyers pay and sellers receive is equal to tax. So we just confirm it by calculating the difference between price buyers paid and price sellers receive. Now we need to find this height, next one. How we can find height? It is this distance, right? So we are going to get 120 minus 120 minus 2t over 3. So 120 minus 120 plus 2t over 3. And therefore the height is 2t over 3. So this part is 2t over 3. So now we need to just uh, fill out the blanks. Base is t, height is 2t over 3. Now we are going to use triangular equation because we know that this area is the dead weight loss. And then calculate the dead weight loss given the tax rates, okay? So let's calculate the area. Remember it's 1 over 2 times t times 2t over 3. 2's are going to cancel, so t squared over 3 is the dead weight loss. Now, given different tax rates, we need to calculate here the dead weight loss graph. Remember, we find 3 squared over 3 is the dead weight loss, right? So we have t is equal to 0, then dead weight loss is 0, right? Because if you plug t here, it's 0. So we are going to get the first point here, 0, 0. The next point is when t is equal to 60 t is equal to 60, then it's 60 squared over 3, and let's calculate 60 squared is 3600 divided by 3 is 1200. So we are going to get the next point 60 to 1.2. And the next one is t is equal to 90. So 90 square over 3, 90 square is 8,100 divided by 3 
is 2,700. So when the tax rate is 90, then we have 2,700. And now 120, tax rate is 120, debt weight loss is 120 squared over 3. 120 squared is 14,400 divided by 3 is equal to 4,800. So when the tax rate is 120, then we have the debt weight loss of 4.8. And the final tax rate is 180. So this is 180 square over 3. 180 square is 32,400 divided by 3 is equal to 10,800. So when it's 180, that weight loss is 10.8. So this is the graph for that weight loss. Now we need to answer these questions. The government now levies a tax on this good of $100 per unit. Which of the following statements are true? Check all that apply. So $100 tax rate, if we look at the tax revenue, at 90 we maximize, right, the tax revenue. In 100, we are on the declining part of the Laffer curve. So for that reason, a tax of 180 would be even better. It's not correct because look at the tax revenue at $180 of tax, the tax revenue is zero. So that is not correct, the first one. The government could decrease that weight loss by reducing the tax. So the government is spending now 100. For sure, by decreasing the tax to 90, tax revenue will increase. For debt weight loss, look at 100, you are here. Now by reducing it, for sure, you are going to lower the debt weight loss. If you move from 100 to 90, you reach to lower debt weight loss. The next one is the government could increase tax revenue by reducing tax to 90. That's correct too. Look at the figure here. You, we are here, 100, it's a declining part of the Laffer curve, but if we move to 90, we can maximize the tax revenue. So this is how we solve this question. Thank you for watching this video.